hi everyone we wouldn't even under normal circumstances have been having chapel as normal this Friday because it's uh, an unusual bank holiday and um, many of you will know the reason for that it's the 75th anniversary of VE Day or Victory in Europe Day it was the day 75 years ago when the guns went silent the Second World War guns went silent in Europe of course that wasn't the end of the global conflict it finished on the 15th of August over in East Asia uh, so that's what we will be remembering as uh, school, even in its odd format at the moment, stops. And therefore, I'm not going to do the normal podcast, um, who said chapel was cancelled podcast for us. Um, but I did want to give a little thought over a video, which I hope is a blessing to you. I hope you enjoy it. I'm going to um, read a short psalm. Now, it's a song written by King David thousands of years ago, and I think it's got real uh, contemporary wisdom for us can speak into our current situation, so just listen in. This is Psalm 13, for the director of music, a Psalm of David. How long, Lord, will you forget me forever? How long will you hide your face from me? How long must I wrestle with my thoughts, and day after day have sorrow in my heart? How long will my enemy triumph over me? Look on me and answer, Lord my God, give light to my eyes or I will sleep in death. And my enemy will say I've overcome him and my foes will rejoice when I fall. But I trust in your unfailing love. My heart rejoices in your salvation. I will sing the Lord's praise for he has been good to me. That's Psalm 13. Now I guess the celebrations on Friday won't be nearly as they were originally intended this year because certainly in the UK we're still very much in lockdown. There won't be pubs, clubs, shops, high streets, parks open as we would have hoped. And that's an odd thing. This psalm reminds us that the enemy which we might be facing has changed. VE Day celebrates the end of war between different nation states 75 years ago and I'm very aware that as Decanians we are an international global group. We're not just from the UK, that is a wonderful rich thing. One of the things I'm praying for to come out of this coronavirus tragedy and pandemic is that we would begin to see that the enemies we have are not one another, as are writ large within a global war, such as 75 years ago. But our enemies are actually universal enemies of the human race. Of course, at the moment, COVID-19 is the one we are very aware of. But there are many other enemies, cynicism, hate, pride, selfishness, individualism. We have the same enemies. And I'm praying that having the same enemy of COVID-19 is going to stitch us together, knit us together as a global population of humanity more than ever before. Praying against xenophobia or or an unhelpful nationalism, which comes with the closing down of boundaries of nation states. Wouldn't it be great if a greater level of unity, world unity, were to come out of this world pandemic? Now, of course, we look back on Friday at the completion of something, the ending of something which was horrific, a moment of peace. But we look back on Friday in the middle of our own unresolved conflict in the midst of this virus. It's a bit of a paradox on Friday. And this psalm here is full of asking the question, how long How long, Lord, will you forget me forever? How long will you hide your face from me? How long must I wrestle with my thoughts? How long will my enemy triumph over me? And we we may well be asking the same question on day, whatever it is, 40, 41 of lockdown as it is today. How long will this go on for? We're waiting. As we look back at the ending of conflict in Europe, we sit in the midst of a pandemic conflict in our world. And the Christian faith is full of waiting, waiting for the fixing of all things when Jesus will one day return and put all things right. 
Sometimes uh, we feel the need when we pray to pray polished, neat prayers, which might impress God. We tend to think he wouldn't like the level of raw emotional honesty that we find here in this psalm. But I want to encourage you, even if you've never prayed before, now would be a great time to start. I've been in touch with a few of you who've begun praying for the first time. And you might want to pray, how long? How long? Please bring this to an end. Bring lockdown to an end so that we might open up and be with one another once more. The last thing I want to say is from verse 5 in a psalm which asks the how long question again and again. Here is something which never ends. The psalmist says, but I trust in your, in God's unfailing love, his unending love. However long this lockdown lasts, there will be something which outlasts it, something which outlasts every world war, something which undergirds every heartbeat of human history. And that is God's unfailing, unwavering, unending love. And I wonder whether you might wish this bank holiday in the UK to echo David's words, but I trust in your unfailing love. I will sing the Lord's praise for he has been good to me. Let me say a prayer. Heavenly Father, we commit each other as a scattered Dean Close community into your care this bank holiday weekend. Those of us who are feeling lonely, would we find solace in your love being with us? Those of us who are feeling like failures, would we find solace in your love being with us? Those of us who are really struggling with the how long questions, would we find solace in being able to pray to you and open up about how we're feeling to you? How long, Lord, please bring this current pandemic to an end and bring our moment of victory, of reunion as the Dean Close community to us quickly. Amen. Thanks for watching. Sending love and prayers from Bailey House to you all. All the best. Bye now.